All right, guys, here's a tutorial of how to install the um, new Mustang Dash. Um, by now, you've probably already gotten it, you've probably opened it up. Um, you have a few things you need, which comes with it. This is basically your little goodie bag, has your hex standoffs, two screws, and the platform. Okay, on the platform, you're gonna have to replace, take this uh, covering off of there before you install it. So, I'm gonna give you a quick overview and um, I was contemplating on buying, uh, this is what the uh, stock LE looks like. It has, I shouldn't say stock, it has our tachometer mod on it right here, which is interactive with the spinner. And then here we have, let me get in here a little tighter for you, the uh, nitrous bottle. You have uh, this one here, and this one here. You have one at the other nitrous shot, which I'll focus in on here real quick. Okay, and this one here. When you get this one, if you decide to buy the kit, it comes bent downward like this. Okay, there's a screw directly below this. You take that out, put the new um, bracket on there, and then you put the plastic in, re screw it back in, and then once that's all done, you simply just move that up into place, and there you go. Okay, so in the back is where your new speedometer uh, mod's gonna go right here where. Basically, it's a big blank open field. So we're gonna get a little closer on that. This is where we'll be working this area right here. No permanent modifications needed to install this. Um, that's how I like to do the mods. Um, that basically, if you want to ever take them off for whatever reason, you can. Okay, so from the factory, you have a lock nut here. It's just like that. I've already taken it off to speed things up. It goes right there. And you have another little hex standoff here for some reason. I don't know to use a hex standoff instead of a lock nut on some. But you remove both of those. You go to your little goodie bag. And you take out your hex heads. Your hex head standoffs, should I say. And your small screws. Okay. Hex head standoff, just like that. Goes right in place. You screw it on. Both spots. Very simple, very easy. Do it all by hand. Hand tight's fine. Okay, so both your standoffs are there. Get your platform. Take your platform. Plastic's off. So it's nice and clear and shiny when you install it. Okay, it's already pre-drilled. So you will need a Phillips head screwdriver. You notice one side's got a hole really close to the side, which is the right, the left side. The other side is the right, so I'm going to go ahead and put, start that there. Holds it in place. Holds that in place. There you go. So the only thing you're going to need is a Phillips head screwdriver to install that all the way. Alright. You can have the uh, play field pulled forward if you'd like. You don't necessarily need to. As you can tell, I've got room to install it here. And the way this is held to this platform is a uh, Velcro. It's an industrial Velcro. You should be able to set the bottom quickly. And then when you need to release it, you can. So go ahead. So on the bottom of the dash, you see these little Velcros. Take the cover off the Velcro. And basically just center this in place. You'll notice on the back side you have these little knobs. That's actually what's running it. It says make sure those aren't hitting your, hitting your ramp. And then center it to where this end is not actually moving up against that ramp. Uh, squeeze it down. Okay, that's done. Do that real fast. Very strong Velcro. Okay, as you can tell, the pads are still there. All right, so the Velcro holds it to the bottom right here, and you can feed these two through the back left of your play field. You'll see there's a gap there. 
I'm going to set it down. And we're just going to feed it back through here. Very quick and simple. And the connectors, you'll notice they have a GI and a, a flasher written on them. And that's just to make it simpler for your hookups once you actually get underneath the play field to know which one's which. Okay, so this is on the, everything's on the back side. We'll pull the slack through. All right, so there we go. All the slack is below. You want to center your dash. And stick it on, squeeze it. Okay, now that's not going anywhere. That is uh, commercial grade uh, Velcro. Just want to take care of your fingerprints there. All right, we're going to lift this up. Butter? All right. So your GI string will hook up last. The flasher, you hook up. I hook it up to this flasher here. Um, that one tends to get a lot of uh, ball travel through it. So basically you, just, you can pull back your, some people actually cut this off, but you can actually pull it back. And black to black. In this case it's got a black and brown trace. That's your negative. So you can hook that up. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, there it goes. All right, so just hook this up here. Now you've got power for your speedometer. Okay, now the other one is marked GI. I'm going to put the play field back down, adjust the camera one more time. Okay, so behind there where the red lights are, that's your general illumination. So we just got to grab our little connector here. To the bare wires. I know she had a bare wire top, bare wire bottom, and we're gonna hook that up to that. Okay, so that's done. And you notice it's lit up now, and uh, we're gonna get your frontal view of it. Again, all this should take you about 10 to 15 minutes tops. All right, you can adjust your angle if you needed. go. There it is. Okay. So you can play with it. You can adjust it up, adjust it down, however you like, but it, it's basically, it's not going anywhere. As you can tell, we had the play field all the way up, all the way down, and you're good to go. Um, of course, of course, what it's going to do for you, we'll get into the test. Let's see if I can focus in just a little bit. So we're going to get a little bingy. Okay. Turn the flashes back on. There we go. So that's what it's going to do. Whenever you hit that right side flasher off, it's going to attack. It's going to basically go to the max.